son of a bitch. Sway, my dear boy, can you hear me? <laughs> can you tell us what happened? I was walking home from McDonald's, and then I saw it! I jumped me How on earth did you survive? A hero! I don't need this! Oh! It's not often that an epi gets so emotional, I actually have to light a freaking candle. Gunso, AK the Goose, this one's for you, bro. Keep that candle right there, just burning and smelling like a fucking pumpkin. What's up, big boys, and welcome to the revival of Guns of the Next Day More episode! Now, this is probably gonna be one of the more emotional episodes we're gonna do. We have a couple emotional episodes coming up on the channel in the next couple days. We've got uh, Podolski and Schweini uh, farewell match. We've got Gomez to Wolfsburg, which is freaking crazy. And then outside of that, I can't think of, of the other one, what the other one was. There's another emotional one that's probably going to make everyone cry. More tears of joy, though. If you guys are not familiar with Gunso, the quick of it is, him and Neymar at Santos were the next big things. There were certain points where Gunso, it looked like, was going to be the next guy to come out of Brazil. And he was supposed to go to, like, Barcelona or Real Madrid or one of the big leagues. He was meant to be that next guy. What ended up happening is Neymar and Gunso tore it up. 2010, I believe they won everything you could win in Brazil. Uh, the following season, Neymar went on to just do incredible, incredible stuff ended up going to Barcelona and Gonzo actually hurt his knee really really badly never recovered from that has sort of been just festering in Brazil just kind of rotting away if you will has done some nice things has done some good things but by and large is a shadow of the player that he was Neymar like his best friend at the time has gone on to Barcelona easily one of the best players in the world and then Gonzo is just sort of there until recently Sevilla went ahead signed him for nine point million euros and are bringing him into the Sevilla club after Absolutely freaking crazy and it's also worth noting that after Santos when he hurt his knee he went to the rival Sao Paulo and that was just an absolute nightmare uh, they blocked him from going to the MLS to uh, uh, go to Orlando with Kaká where he was gonna get mentored and just sort of have a better experience than the one he was having in Brazil and really I think it's just a product of the hype like Neymar lived up to it Ganso got injured and the mental part of it might have just gotten to his head was left out of the 2010 World Cup uh, 2012 Olympics I don't think he did much of anything but uh, yeah absolute incredible 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 Incredible, incredible, absolutely incredible player. Isn't known for pace or anything like that. Obviously, 48 pace, but has nice shooting. He can shoot from distance. More than anything, though, he was a supplier for Neymar, some of Neymar's most incredible goals at Santos. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. But more importantly, he reunites with his friend from Brazil. The boys from Brazil is what they were called. Neymar, they get a strong link in Liga BVA. McPato, like we did an episode on about a week and a half ago, a week and a half, two weeks ago, has also gone to La Liga BVA, who I believe also played for Sao Paulo. What? Did they play together? I'm pretty sure they played together in 2014. We've got Pato the Duck. We've got Ganso the Goose, which I believe that's what Ganso means in Portuguese. If you guys are Portuguese, let me know. I'm pretty sure Pato means duck. I'm also pretty sure Ganso means goose from what I saw. And then Neymar. Uh, not sure what Neymar means in Portuguese. It might not mean anything. But anyway, we've got a La Liga side. Danilo, I also believe, played with them at Santos. And then there was another player that I'm leaving out. Alexandro, I believe, also played at Santo with uh, Ganso and Neymar. But anyway... Crazy looking squad right here. If you guys do enjoy the episode, hit that like button. If you guys think Gunzo can revive his career in Sevilla, hit that like button. Let's try and blast 78 likes for his rating. As well, if you want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below. Alan Pardew, back in a... Actually, he's in England on a houseboat. Hold on. Back in España, having a tapas. Let's get into a couple games. Let's see if the boys can do it. Wait, Higbala, I played this guy before, bro. In the comment section below, let me know, guys. I'm pretty sure I beat the Higbala squad when I came up against it. I remember being really scared. Because, obviously, it's filled up with, uh, freaking past I man of the match, Totti. Holy freaking shit. Iguain and Dybala. That looks like a crazy squad. If there's one thing Gunzo can do, he's got 87 vision. He's got 86 passing, uh, long passing, 86 short passing. Also has 77 long shots and 75 shot power. His ab rating, absolutely atrocious. He has 49 acceleration. But there are the boys right there. Can we bring it back? Can we revitalize freaking Gunzo's career? Can him and Neymar link it up again? What a fine save. Keeper PK? Shit. Oh my god. I mean, if I lose against this squad... I mean, I've got a good squad too. What am I saying? I have to win this game. I look like the Russian tank driver again, boys. Let me know in the comment section below if you think a move to Sevilla is what Gonzo needs to revitalize his career. Still only 25. Still only 25 years old, has plenty of time. It's just a matter if it's still there. You know, sometimes it turns off for a player, but, um, 
yeah, it would be awesome to see him do something and revitalize his career. Sevilla seems like a pretty good landing spot for him. Uh, should get starting time. But, uh, yeah, really, really wishing the best for him. Holy shit. Gunso! What the fuck was that from Gunso? His second shot of the game! What a freaking blast! Alright, who is that? He says, who is that? That was the freaking guns! The freaking goose. Oh god. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Fuck! Oh, Buffon saves it though. Honestly, I might have possession, but he is dominating. That Gonzo strike was freaking incredible, boys. Come on. We need Neymar, we need Messi, we need Pato to step it up. Let's go. Please start playing moist. When I... Or not. Don't, don't play it. Fuck. I like it. Oh, what the fuck? Did I Messi to Neymar. That's him. Dude, Buffon got freaking jacked up. Here we go. Don't come out, Buffon. Don't want to come out. Oh my god, how did he... That's it. That's a goal! I know I say it a lot, but we're not going to Pens in this one. Gonzo, my god, he's been absolutely freaking incredible. Has had some really, really nice passes. Hasn't given the ball away. Had that one miss that I don't know how he actually missed that, but the long shots have been on point from him. Shit. I have to take this call. I have to freaking go on a call, dude. This fucked. Hey, how's it going, guys? Can you hear me okay? Gotcha. Two goals. I feel bad. Yeah, this is my cell. This this is the best one to reach me on. No, no, but are you saying I need to start? You need? Are you saying I need to remove the tattoos from my face? <laughs> Shitting! Shit! Fucking Gonzo got man of the match, dude. Honestly, I had some chances with Gonzo, but this guy hit the post like freaking ten times. Raging horse cunt. Wait, this guy's squad name is Way Inspires Me. Wow, guys. He's got the Puddles. He's got the freaking Gomez Puddles Royce connection. He's got Schweini. He's got some freaking. Dude, this is like the Schweini Podolski farewell match right here. Holy freaking smokes. Volley boys! Great first touch and then wow. Messi just rifles it in. Is that halftime? Oh Holy shit, I feel like nothing has happened. Hello? What's up, dude? Dude, oh my god, this made my day. Dude, that's freaking awesome, dude. Dude, does Gomez have fucking horse tranquilizers injected in his ass? How the hell is he running that fast? That was such a crap goal. Dude, oh my god, this made my day. Dude, oh my god, this made my day. I'm going to freaking extra time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. We're going to fucking end. 
these stupid pens are so oh. shit! Come on, oh, Bato! Go middle. Go middle! Shit. Right at the middle. Oh, come on, son! Oh, oh, yeah. Neymar and Pato have put it in so far! Oh my god. Oh! Gonzo, you can't miss that! I lost on pens yesterday! He's going middle. I feel it. Yes! Come on, boys! Let's go! Bury it! Yes! We freaking take it! And it ends on a freaking Modric pen, son! That is what I'm talking about! Holy shit, that was emotional! That was absolutely freaking emotional. Gonzo, what did he have that match? Gonzo had himself 669. Big Pato should have put that one away. Don't know how he missed that, to be honest with you. I even, like, tapped it around the keeper. That's supposed to be a 9 out of 10 type shot right there. McFato wasn't able to convert. It hasn't had a great couple of matches. Messi got himself that amazing, amazing volley. But Gonzo, obviously, a uh, 6.9 rating. Not amazing in that match. But in the first match was incredible. They did some nice chances here. But, uh, yeah. Incredibly, incredibly emotional episode. Finally get ourselves a win in pen. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time. Choose later a day. I've been looking around at all these players, all I see. I don't know where information comes from.